find it on the last day of 2011 in the evening of December 31st. That's how the Federal Reserve Act 100 years ago got passed as well by three senators. This is how they do this stuff in the dead of night. And that's what they do on all these other fronts. Oh, I'm going to get you that free health care. Oh, I'm sorry it kicked you off your plan and doubled your price. I I'm going to I'm gonna be a dictator. I'm going to fix that. And people are like, all right, be a dictator. Get it done. Yeah, it's those Republicans in the, in the House. They uh, won't uh, let it work right. That's why it happened. They've got a pass bill, folks, fully in Obama's hands. And then this leads me to the big issue before I get into all the other news. This really is a giant mega issue. This is so incredible just to see it all out in the open. Here's the Associated Press. They're just nonchalantly reporting this like it's completely normal and kosher and okay. White House warns Obama could go around Congress on our sovereignty and our borders, bringing in groups that will then be given driver's license to vote. So you guessed it, use the voting because the Bill of Rights isn't there to protect us anymore. It was the referee to literally enslave everyone. This, this is the breaking of the public by design. Only a fool in the establishment would want to get rid of checks and balances. Here's another one. Obama to assert unilateral agenda. Isn't uh, that a nice way uh, of uh, saying it in the Washington, Washington Post and the Wall Street Journal? They've all got the same headlines. This is the Wall Street Journal. Obama to assert unilateral agenda. President to seek to use State of the Union address to shift souring view of leadership. Yeah, con him one more time. Lie to him one more time. The plan's almost in place. Here's Bloomberg. Obama's plan to use executive action triggers criticism. Oh, my gosh, how evil that Mitch McConnell and others would uh, dare uh, criticize the year of action. Boy, does that sound fascist. And here's the Christian Science Monitor. You read this, and, and the, the whole article basically, in a smarmy way, endorses it and legitimizes it. And here's the key point we've gotten to. When he starts to act as an open dictator, and there's no real criticism, and Senator Ted Cruz gets censored when he's on Face the Nation, but they still streamed it out live, but then when they aired it, they, they cut it. It's delayed by an hour, even more on the West Coast. So Cruz was able to get the raw feed. He's smart enough to have his staffers there. He got it, and they cut out where he said Obama's becoming a dictator and abusing power. They don't want anyone talking about the elephant in the room, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, Christian Science Monitor, though, addresses it, but says, oh, big deal. There's some gridlock. Got to come on. Is Barack Obama an imperial president? Well, of course he is. President Obama's use of executive action to get around congressional gridlock, to get around congressional gridlock, you mean, you mean when a few in Congress dare say, hey, we're going bankrupt, maybe we should debate increasing in spending, and we're going to totally devalue everything and go down the drain. Shut up, racist. You're criticizing Obama because you're racist, and uh, raising the debt ceiling does not raise the debt. Remember that quote from Obama? I mean, this is upside-down world. This is bizarro world. And the article goes on to say, but liberal activists say he's not going far enough. See, now some people say maybe it's a little not friendly that he's a dictator now. But the liberals, and they're the liberals, they have the moral high ground. They're called liberals. You know, if you're in New York and want to own guns or are anti-abortion, just get out of the state. You're not welcome here. That's not authoritarian or anything. Get out of Germany, <laughs> 1935. Get out and, and you know, pay us before you leave, too. I, I mean, I mean, this is these people are authoritarian gangsters. You look at Cuomo. You look at Obama. You look at that witch Hillary. They act like a celebrity on the news to try to sell mindless trendies that... Ooh, Hillary's, you know, a wonderful person in all this. I mean, she looks like a baboon's butt or something. I'm nothing against her the way she looks, but this crone-like witch. Let's continue here. Is Barack Obama an imperial president? Ju Hong's voice rang out loud and clear, interpreting the most powerful man in the world. You have the power to stop deportation of all undocumented immigrants in this country. The young South Korean man yelled as President Obama during a speech on immigration reform last November in San Francisco, waving away security guards, Mr. Obama turned and addressed Mr. Hong himself, undocumented. 
Actually, I don't, the president said, and that's why we're there. Remember how he kept saying for years, I'm sorry I can't fix everything. If I was a dictator, I could. Remember that? And then now it's like, oh, they begged me. Yeah, let's make all the illegals legal. That won't double and triple the amount that come. I'm going to explain how this works. That will then vote, because they're directed by the Democratic Party and the Republican leadership, to take everything everybody's got, except for the bankers, like Warren Buffett, who are exempt. None of this would be happening if the globalists weren't exempt from all this. What if I told you you could reverse diabetes and stop taking your diabetes medication? If you or someone you care about has diabetes or prediabetes, there's a special free video you need to watch. You may have heard about this. It's all over the Internet. 99weirdspice.com People who have followed this plan at 99weirdspice.com reportedly have not only normalized their blood sugar, but have stopped taking their diabetes meds completely with their doctor's approval. 99weirdspice.com is a natural drug-free approach to reversing diabetes with remarkable results in as little as four weeks. 99weirdspice.com will save you from being a slave to doctor-prescribed drugs. It's easy. 99weirdspice.com gives you three specific actions to get your blood sugar under control. And the best part is the main ingredient and solution is a common spice found in most kitchens. Watch the free video for yourself at 99weirdspice.com. Watch for free. 99weirdspice.com. Get back the quality of your life and free yourself from diabetes medications. Go to 99weirdspice.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through January 31st. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. When you need it the most, will your generator, power equipment, or vehicle be ready? Gas and diesel fuels go bad quickly when stored, and more than half of generator failures during disasters occur as a result of expired fuel. PRI fuel stabilizers keep your fuel fresh for when you need it most. Nuclear power stations, emergency service providers, and ships at sea rely on PRI fuel stabilizers. And you can too. Call 888-776-9373 or visit PRIproducts.com to find the dealer nearest you. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Monday through 
Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. We're here chronicling and charting the criminal takeover of our once great republic. We're here Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The news sites are Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. So there's all these headlines everywhere going, well, the president's going to act alone on the military. He's going to act alone on Obamacare. He's going to act alone on guns. He's going to act alone on immigration. He's going to act alone with recess appointments that clearly haven't gone through the process. He's going to take a third of his money from foreign donors, each one of them a felony, while at the same time arresting Dinesh D'Souza, even if he's guilty and he's pled not guilty, for doing something literally one ten thousandth. Obama has raised hundreds of millions illegally, openly, on record, and not gotten in trouble. And then Dinesh D'Souza gives $20,000 to a good friend running for the Senate and does it through bundling, something Democrats do openly. Uh, I mean, the Project Veritas has endless videos. Endless videos. And he's coming on in the third hour today with new ones. Uh, with the Blue State Project that's trying to turn Texas into a socialist stronghold. And they get in there in these meetings and openly talk about crimes they're committing. And election fraud and getting illegals to vote and getting government payoffs. And no one gets in trouble. No one gets in trouble. And then they go out and they selectively enforce. And then Ted Cruz, the senator, goes on Face the Nation. And the job of the Face the Nation host, Bob Schaefer, is to sit there and like a con artist laugh and act like Cruz is ridiculous and that he, Schaefer, has the moral authority when he's saying outrageous things like, how dare you say we shouldn't raise the debt again? Raising the debt doesn't raise the debt. <laughs> You're the bad one that said Obamacare was a bad deal. <laughs> Boy, are you discredited. This is the tactic. Oh, look at Ted Cruz. <laughs> look at... Look at Muhammad Ali and the thriller in Manila when he won. He's discredited. He won. It'd be like whoever wins the Super Bowl coming up. Saying, oh, they're discredited. They won the Super Bowl. Uh, everything he said about it was true. <laughs> I'm Bob Shaver. <laughs> I mean, they play these games where these mental midgets, because you got the general public doesn't even watch the news, doesn't even know what planet they're on, literally. Has no idea up from down, just believes everything they're told. Brain damaged, watching television all day, drooling acting trendy. Then you've got the kind of news outlet type people that think they're news hounds and think they know how things work. Democrat types, they watch Face the Nation and sit there in their couches laughing with Bob Schaefer and actually, ha ha, he said Obamacare was bad, keeping the whole con going when we all know Obamacare is wonderful. Well, the story is up on Infowars.com. Very important. I had the guys post the Newsbusters video. It's also up on DrudgeReport.com. CBS caught censoring Ted Cruz over Obama's abuse of power. And uh, the actual Newsbusters headline is Face the Nation edits out Senator Cruz condemning Obama's abuse of power. And you can see both the edited clip, the unedited clip. They streamed the real clip, but then aired later the edited one, and edited this out because no one's allowed to talk about how Obama is basically becoming a dictator. Here it is. Well, look, my focus is on the challenges facing this country right now. It's on the Senate. My focus, for example, is on the abuse of power from the president. Let's take something like the IRS scandal. So Eight do I take ago, that as a yes or a no? <laughs> or still well, thinking what, about what it? What you can take that as is that my focus is standing and fighting right now in the Senate to bring back jobs and economic growth. Economic growth is my number one priority. And let me tell you something that deeply concerns me. It's the abuse of power from this administration. We've seen multiple filmmakers prosecuted and the government's gone after them. Whether it was the poor fellow that, that, that did the film that the president blamed Benghazi and the terrorist attack on. Turned out that wasn't the reason for the attack. But the administration went and put that poor fellow in jail on unrelated charges. Or just this week it's been broken that Dinesh D'Souza, who did a very big movie criticizing the president, is now being prosecuted by this administration. Senator. Bob, can you imagine the reaction if the Bush administration 
had went gone and prosecuted Michael Moore and Alec Baldwin and Sean Penn. I would have stood against it that. It should trouble everyone that this administration yes. uses government power and the IRS in particular.